Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Again, this message is for my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are suffering right now. And I want to help those who are struggling with surrender and by giving some more guidance and some illustrations on how to better surrender because many people are not able to surrender because uh, there is some sort of an obstacle in their way. And I think the biggest obstacle for most is a lie. And that lie is, if you surrender this thing, you will be worse off. And so I think many people are believing that lie, which is making them afraid to actually surrender it to God. They're holding on because they feel like if they, if they let go, it'll hurt more. They can't afford to let go. And really it comes down to having faith in God so that you can give it to Him and He can handle it for you. But right now it's scary and some people have been holding on for years and some people a few months, but it's enough where it is causing drastic hardship in their life. So I want to address that lie. That is a tactic from the enemy saying you can't trust God, you need to hold on to this. This is real life. You know, you got to take things, uh, do things practically here. You have to hold on to whatever you're worrying about. And um, I just want to show you a good visual of how this looks for us who are holding on to control over something that uh, we're worrying about and something actually is causing us to be obsessed about. So this is a picture of a monkey uh, with his hand in a trap. And this is actually what uh, trappers use to um, maybe hunt monkeys or just capture them for whatever reason. And the interesting thing about this trap is that there's nothing that's forcing the monkey to have his hand in there. So they put some sort of a bait into that device and that exit, the entrance into that device is only large enough for the monkey's hand to go in and out. But it is not big enough for the monkey's hand and the, th the bait that the monkey would hold. And so the monkey is holding on to that bait, maybe some sort of a fruit, and he can't pull it out because that entrance is not big enough. And all that monkey has to do is let go of that bait and he'll be free. And some people are doing the exact same thing. We are holding on to that bait that the devil has tricked us into holding on to and we won't let go. And some of these monkeys, a lot of them, they even see the hunter coming at them while they're holding on. They refuse to let go until they're caught. And all the monkey has to do is let go. And that is as simply as I could put it for those of you who are struggling with letting go of whatever they're holding on to. Letting go is the way to finding freedom. And so some of these examples of this bait, you know, for this monkey, it could be a fruit of some sort, but for us, it could look like many different things. You know, it could be about you trying to control your finances, worrying about tomorrow, regarding finances, worrying about tomorrow regarding a lot of things. Maybe there's turmoil within your family, maybe a job situation. Maybe you're worried about your health or the health of a loved one, but you're so full of anxiety because you can't control uh, what will happen to your health or the loved one's health. Uh, maybe um, you're, you can't get over the fact of the physical pain that you're in. You feel like it needs to be gone, it must be gone. And you're holding on to that, saying, it needs to be my way in this way. This pain cannot stay. Or maybe you're so worried about a wayward child or what people think of you, your reputation. And there could just be so many things. The list goes on and on. And you could be like that monkey just holding on. You know, I say that humbly. I was just like that monkey. You hold on and you're just stuck. Because you feel like you need to hold on. If you let go, it's going to be worse. What am I going to do then? And that takes faith. To let go takes faith. And so I'll give you an illustration 
of what I went through, and I'm sure um, many have heard this who's listening to this. But uh, you know, my thing I couldn't let go of during my trial was insomnia. I felt like I needed a certain amount of sleep to function properly. And because I wasn't getting the amount of sleep I wanted, I was in massive anxiety. And I was holding on to sleep like this, just like that monkey. And I couldn't let go. And it was causing me so much other pain. You know, when you have your hand trapped in there for days, your whole body's gonna hurt, not just your hand, not just the thing you worry about, but your whole body's gonna feel it. And just like when you obsess over that one thing, your whole body's gonna feel it. Even your family's gonna feel it and it's gonna cause a lot of pain. And I'm urging you to let go of that, to surrender it to God. And this is not an easy thing to do, I understand. Uh, Jesus commands us in Luke to deny yourself, to carry your cross, and follow him. Many people in the church do not understand this, in my opinion. I didn't before this trial. But to deny yourself and to carry your cross means to absolutely surrender. To deny yourself of your rights. To be comfortable. To have this or not to have that. It means to identify with Jesus' death on the cross. As Galatians 2.20 says that you died, and now it's Christ who lives in you. And for you to offer your body as a living sacrifice, surrendering all, all claims that you have, and then you're able to follow Jesus in the way he wants you to. And so this is a very difficult thing. And for those who are struggling really bad to surrender, don't be discouraged. Ask God to make you willing to let go. Because if you can't do it, the Lord is on his way helping you. If you are a believer and you're going through a very difficult trial. For me, the way I let go of my insomnia um, issue of my need for sleep, perceived need for sleep, it wasn't by my strength saying, all right, I'll just let go. There you go, God. But it was a way... That was very painful. And what happened was I just got beat so bad. Like I said, I was holding on and my whole body was hurting. And I felt like my whole life was deteriorating. And so the way I let go was God let the circumstances beat me so bad I lost the strength. I lost the strength to hold on. I just couldn't hold on to the bait anymore. And through that, my hand slipped out. And then I was able to be free from this trap. All this fear. And I saw that my surrender, and as I let go, I was able to fully surrender. And actually, that was the final moment that I was able to get my hand out. I had no strength left, and I pulled it out, surrendering all to God, saying, I have nothing left. I trust in you. I think I need this sleep. I feel like if I don't have it, it's going to be so bad. But instead, I choose to trust in you, Lord, and what your word says. I surrender sleep to you. You can have it, God. And I'm going to hang on to your grace. I'm going to hang on to your promises. Everything you said to your children, I claim them. And I, adore, I know that they are all yes through Jesus' blood. And so through that circumstance, which many of you may be going through, I was able to let go. And you guys may be on that same track right now. So I don't want you to be discouraged if you're not able to let go right now. But today could be the day where you finally let go. You finally see this picture and you say, the devil, devil, you're not going to laugh at my expense anymore. I'm going to let go and turn to God. And so I, I pray that this is the turning point where you can just see the trickery of the enemy in here. Trying to persuade you not to let go when that's the very thing that you must do to lead to your freedom. Many of you feel like you're in prison because you are. But the prison you're in is you're doing it to yourself. You're holding on. You can't get out because you're not letting go. But as soon as you let go and surrender the situation and everything to God, you will be free. And once you're free, as many will testify, that bait you've been holding on to will not even be close to what God has in store for you. 
His blessings will be beyond what you could imagine at this time if you're holding on to that bait. That bait is nothing compared to what God will bless you with next. What kind of fruit He will um, produce in and through you if you would surrender and trust in Him. And for those who have experienced letting go of that bait, many will say, I felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulder. And that's because you got free from that bondage. But some of you have only felt it for a little while because without you even realizing, you went back to the bait and grabbed it and you're stuck again. Stay away from the bait once you're free by guarding your mind. And so it may feel weird at first. It's like, wow, I'm not worrying anymore. This feels weird. I feel like I should be worrying. And you're tempted to go back to that bait. But remind yourself of God's truth. Resurrender yourself. It's a constant battle. Surrender. When you experience fear and worry, surrender immediately to God. And then the most important thing after you surrender, you turn to his word and you trust him. Whatever God says, take him at his word. Surrender is not enough. You must surrender it all to him and then take him at his word. You must trust in him. And this requires hanging your very life on his words. And you can do this. If you are saved, you have enough faith. The Lord provides in every way. And all his promises for his children are a yes and amen for you. Trust in him. Let go. I urge you to let go of that thing you're holding on to. It's only hurting you. It's not helping you. The devil wants you to hold on, but the Lord patiently and graciously waits for you to let go. And he will allow the circumstances to help you let go in order for you to experience him in a much deeper way and for you to be a part of his will, for you to be a part of accomplishing his purposes. There's a lot to look forward to if you're a Christian. And this trap, once you get out of it, you'll be able to see a lot more clearly if you ever get stuck in it again on how to let go and be free. So may God bless you. May he comfort you. And may he rescue you from all your afflictions without delay. Surrender and trust in Jesus and his words and his truths. God bless you. I love you guys.